Hello everyone, my name is Carson, and today I am going to be explaining to you the difference between Bluehost and Hostinger, two of the most popular web hosting companies. Now I will drop a link in the description below so you can compare the Bluehost and Hostinger plans and receive special discounts. Okay, so let's get into the comparison. Now, Bluehost and Hostinger are both very popular website hosting companies. Now, if you don't know what a hosting company is, it's essentially a company which provides web servers or places where you can host your website for a certain amount per month. Some very popular names in the business are Bluehost, Hostinger, GoDaddy, HostGator, websites like that. Bluehost and Hostinger, however, are both very famous for providing some of the cheapest and best hosting services on the market, which is why I'm going to be comparing these two today. These are honestly both great companies for a beginner to start hosting their website on. Because of the price and the quality you get for that price, you basically can't go wrong no matter which you pick. I am, however, going to be explaining some of the differences between these two companies and just kind of helping you out to decide which one you want to go with. Now, Hostinger has made a name for itself by providing some of the cheapest, if not the cheapest, hosting plans on the entire internet. Like, Hostinger provides a seriously good deal, especially when you're starting out. Just looking at their website right now, as you can see, their cheapest plan starts at 99 cents per month. Now, I don't know about you, but to me, that sounds like a pretty good deal. Hostinger is undoubtedly one of the cheapest website hosting companies on the market, if not the cheapest. It's incredibly economically efficient, and there's no doubt you're getting your money's worth. Now, Bluehost is one of the biggest and one of the most popular website hosting platforms out there. They are very well known. The prices are slightly more expensive than Hostinger, but not by much at all. As you can see, we just took a look at the 99 cents per month plan on Hostinger, but looking over here on Bluehost, it's about 2.95 for the same plan. Now that's still a very, very good deal. I certainly wouldn't discount Bluehost just because of the slight price difference. There's much more nuance between these two platforms, which I'm going to get into now. One thing you need to consider when comparing these two platforms is the fact that the 99 cent per month plan actually does not come with a free domain name. A more accurate comparison between these two websites would be the premium shared hosting on Hostinger and the basic shared hosting on Bluehost. When you do compare these two plans instead, it turns out the difference is only 219 to 295, which is a lot smaller of a difference. Now, if you do have a domain name, obviously you could get the cheaper 99 cent plan, but those are things to take into consideration. Now, one interesting tidbit is that Bluehost is actually one of the few hosting companies actually officially endorsed by WordPress.org, which is the official website for WordPress. Now, as you can see on my screen, all Bluehost plans include domains, resource protection, scalability, SSL certificates, marketing credits, and you are verified on Google My Business. All of these features are available for around $2.95 per month. Now, as you can see, Hostinger also boasts most of these features as well. When you go for the $2.19 a month plan, you get a free domain, you get a free SSL, and you get some Google Ads credit. The plans are very comparable. Now, in the end, it really does come down to this. If you're looking for the cheapest web hosting on the market, I would definitely recommend going with Hostinger. If, however, you're looking for more unlimited features like bandwidth, storage, and websites, I would recommend going with Bluehost. Those are the main key differences between these two hosting platforms. They're both very good though, so it really ends up being to you as to which one you decide to go with. Now, just to recap, we basically compared two of the cheapest and two of the best web hosting companies out there, Bluehost and Hostinger. The main difference being the price is slightly higher on Bluehost, but they also offer a lot of unlimited limited features such as storage and bandwidth. Well, thank you so much for watching. Remember, if you do have any questions, just drop a comment below and I'll be sure to respond to it. Also, just a reminder that I will have a link below so you can go ahead and compare some of these plans, these websites, and receive special discounts. Thanks for watching, till next time, and have a great day.